Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm Big E. Right up there on the screen. That's Mr. Mountain. This is our gnome warrior. We're hanging out here in Everlook, I believe it's called. In uh in winter spring. Mountain's all excited today. He just put a sharpening. He just sharpened his thing. His sword even. <laughs> uh, Blade of Titans. Standing up here. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Um, I'm a little off. What the hell am I doing? Hello there. Hello. Hello, Loctite. Lock. Okay, we'll say Loctite. You can pronounce this a different way. <laughs> We're going to say Loctite. Um, what are we going to work on today? We're going to work on Are We There Yeti? We need 10 thick Yeti furs. This is an orange quest, but uh, look at the quests we have here. Uh, these two are red. We don't mind a challenge. We do have a call to plague lands, which is um, a green quest, but the plague lands is on the other side of the world. Right up here. Let's go work on this. I think I know where to get these. Anyway, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys and gals are doing all right. Do I look blue? I look blue in the camera for some reason. Again, I'm just going to not pay attention to it. Anyway, I think we will find some yetis up over here. All the yetis we want. Da, 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 da. It is a Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday the... Hello there. We just leveled up by discovering Ice Thistle Hills. I did not realize we were that close. Man, it feels like forever since we chose a talent point here. Um, well, I guess I'm going here. Yeah, because I want to get down here. So here we go. Improved Mortal Strike. Reduce the cooldown of your Mortal Strike by one second and increase the damage it causes by 5%. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Okay. So our Mortal Strike is a vicious strike that deals weapon damage plus 115 and wounds the target, reducing the effectiveness of any healing by 50%. Da, 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 da. That is an even level. It does, that means we can see the ice. The ice. <laughs> that means we can see the trainer. The warrior trainer. I saw we have a druid in the area. Enjoy some mortal strike, sir. Anyway, yeah, so today's the 8th for me, and tomorrow is a Thursday. And tomorrow... We're going to be doing our second live stream. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Still a little bit anxiety provoking for me. Just how it is. But I, I know it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a thick Yeti fur. Oh boy, what's that? Tendon rip. Ouch. There he is. Torrent Druid. You going for my mob, bro? He is going for my mob. My mob. We're going to charge in low health. It's just one of the things we do as a warrior. He parried uh, Ren there. What the hell? That's a little bit annoying. Um, that's, that's super annoying. She's like, and that's exactly why I'm doing it. Exactly why. Man, <laughs> I hate that so much. 
Right, we get dodged, and then we get overpower that pops up, and then we use overpower, and then we miss overpower. <laughs> All right, let's have... Let's get a little food buff going. We get uh, 12 Stam, which is 120 health, and I'll have a sip of some iced coffee out of my Star Wars mug. It's not like I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I don't know, man. I, But I found out Disney was taking over the, the franchise there, and I just... I didn't have high hopes. <laughs> and they didn't disappoint. <laughs> I don't know, man. That whole that whole franchise now, it's I just feel like it's for much, much younger people. This fucking druid is cleaning house here. Like the way they fucking killed off Han Solo, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? That was ridiculous the way that they did that. Oh, we have two fucking druids in the area. What the hell's going on? All right, well, we might work on something else. God damn. Like, no last words. The Han Solo thing. No last words. Like, just backstab, pushed off the fucking thing. His best friend in his life, Chewbacca, right beside him. Not even nothing. Just, like, fucking nothing, man. Like, one of the most iconic characters in fucking Star Wars and just fucking rode him off. That was pretty much it for me. <laughs> um, All right. Well, I guess we'll kill some. All right, we'll try to keep getting these mobs is what I meant to say. After we get frozen immediately. Oh. Oh, let's miss that twice. I was hoping for three. I was hoping for three misses. I also, I tried watching uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the... Dude, I... I don't know. I feel like I'm the only fucking person in the world. I just didn't think it was that good. God damn! <laughs> like, I like... I like the actor... I like uh, many of the actors in it, but I, I couldn't even finish the first uh, the first episode. Just, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me, but... Let's have a piece of a Swiss cheese. I saw the original Star Wars and was 76 or 77. Like the year it was released, my uncle... My uncle Kerry took me to see it in a movie theater. Yeah, man, you talking about fucking that? So I was seven years old. In 77, I was seven years old. Well, depending on the month. Six or seven when I saw that, man. In the movie theater. And it's actually... I think it was the first time that I'd ever been in a movie theater. Uh, maybe not the first time, but... The first two or three times I'd ever even been to a movie theater. My Uncle Kerry. It's my mom's, one of my mom's younger brothers. He turned out to be... I don't want to say a dick. But he doesn't... Um, I don't know. I can't really say anything. He's very successful. Uh, he got into... Um, he was a tax person, and then he got into real estate. I think he lives up in Richmond, Virginia. Well, over in Richmond, Virginia. I used to live there as well. It's, uh... I don't know. He just, like, unfriended a lot of the family, including me, and just... I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, well, fuck you, man. Ta -ta. 
I guess tried to distance himself from us low life. <laughs> okay, you know what? Oh, God damn it, Blizzard with the fucking drop rate. Uh, these guys are three levels above us. Would not be fun. Don't think we'd be able to hit them. Be a lot of missing, dodging, resists. Any old two. Yeah, I haven't spoken to him. Last time I spoke to him was at my mom's funeral in 2009. We're getting wrecked. We are getting destroyed. And of course, no Yeti fur. Thank you, Blizzard. You're welcome. You're welcome, Biggie. Let us know if we can help out in any other way. Let's go get to level 56. I'll say it once. Well, I've said it once, and then I'll say it again. There is a big difference between a mob that is yellow to you and a mob that is orange to you. Big difference. How big a difference, E? I don't know. I don't know how you measure it, but it's a big difference. Did you just get like a speed boost or something? What was that? We just straight up missed Mortal Strike. <laughs> da, da. Anyway, got a lot like a late start this morning. I didn't even get to the gym till like nine or nine thirty, which is I've usually been to the gym three hours earlier than that. Anyway, I got a late start. Went up there, got a workout in, and then I decided to go to Walmart. I did decide to do that. I needed to pick up a few things, and I didn't want to go to the local little grocery store here because they're fucking way overpriced. Anyway, going to Walmart for me is always anxiety-inducing and stressful, but I gotta say, it actually, there wasn't very many people there. Wasn't a giant crowd of people. Now, it is Walmart. There's always people in there, but it wasn't bad. Like, I even browsed around a little bit. I usually, if I go into a store, I'm getting exactly what I need, and then I'm getting the fuck out. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be shopping <laughs> just up and down the aisles casually. That's just not my thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, uh, fucking hell. I got to be careful here. Got matriarchs all around us, dude. Or patriarchs. What are you, sir? You're just a regular old yeti. Anyway, I went up there because I, I needed to get some um, protein powder. And I'm not somebody who really does protein powder anymore, but... But I'm trying to hit a certain amount of protein per day. Again. And it's a good way. It's the best way to get protein in your body is naturally with foods. But I need to be eating about 300 grams of protein a day. And it's it's not easy. To, it's not easy to do. So, yeah, I got some protein powder. And then I just did a little shopping around. I got some, uh, I got some more bird seed. Speaking of bird seed, while we're eating some Swiss cheese... It's time for bird cam, bird cam, bird cam. Oh, there we go. No birds. I filled it up. I got some new bird seed. I think they're going to like this bird seed better. What are you, sir? A Yeti. Just what I need. I got... Uh, what else did I get? Picked up some uh, some more cottage cheese. It's a great source of protein and fat. I think most people, when they hear if something has fat in it, they think, oh my God, that's bad for you. It's going to make me fat. No, your body, fat is essential for your body. Essential. 
You absolutely need it. Now, there are good fats and bad fats. Damn. But, uh... Fats uh, work best for you uh, when consumed with protein. High protein, high fat. It's the way to go, man. Back up a little bit, sir. Come up on this hill. I'm going to whisper sweet nothings into your ear. That was a nice mortal strike right there. Give me that. Give me that uh, execute, sir. Thank you. Okay, cool. Killed like 25 yetis. Got three furs. It does seem good. <laughs> uh. So, anybody who, uh, who's, I guess, a regular viewer uh, probably knows, maybe knows, I don't know. Several months ago, I was having major, major car trouble. Major car trouble. It was a long thing. I didn't have my car for two or over two months or something. Finally got it all worked out. Got everything fixed up. Not going to go into details. But I did plenty of complaining on it on all of the Let's Plays I was doing. Mountain, Finn, anything else we were doing. Anyway, so it's like, you know, it's kind of full-on summer here uh, in southwest New Mexico. It gets hot as fuck during the day. <laughs> it does get hot as hell. And I have noticed the last... This last past week, especially, my temperature in the car, it runs hotter than it used to. And I replaced... So I've got brand new radiator fans. I've got a brand new water pump. I've got a brand new thermostat. A couple other things. And ever since I did that, the car runs hotter than it than it used to run. That car used to run nice and cool. Nice and cool. I mean, it still runs cool, but hotter. I would say probably 75, 50, 75 degrees hotter than it used to run. What is this song? Anyway, I've noticed this last past week, the gauge getting like, it's not like halfway, but I would say between a quarter and halfway on the temperature gauge. God damn, man. <laughs> anyway, when I sh turn the car off, I shut the car off, I park, shut the car off, I can hear the coolant boiling inside the fucking engine. This is... hella loud. So what that means is I've checked the, the fluid several times and it is not low but i think what's going on is i have an air pocket somewhere in the block causing because that will cause the car to do that it'll cause the car to overheat but i can't seem to get rid of the damn air pocket so there are many different ways to do it some people call it burping the car you can sometimes uh, as it's running, you know, before it warms up, you literally take your bottom radiator hose and your top and just, like, squeeze the fuck out of it and try to move the air bubble. You can also jack your car up from the front. And um, try to force the air bubble. You know, you use, uh, use the nature of an air bubble to float up and uh, push it out of the car. I, so I'm, I think I'm going to have to go back out and do that. What are you, a Yeti? You are a Yeti. Kind of low health here. I think I'm going to Death Wish here. Just want to. So, yeah. And so... That air bubble will create a space for the for the boil for the boil to take place. Because it's definitely not hot enough. It's the temperature gauge is definitely not hot enough for that thing to be boiling like that. 
I don't know what at temperature uh, cool coolant boils, but I actually thought it was super, super high, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Now, it could be possible my thermostat is not reading correctly. There's actually two. There's a sensor. There's a, uh, a, a temperature sensor on the engine block that shows you what the temperature of your car is. And the thermostat works a little bit differently. The thermostat, all it does is allow... It's a valve that opens and closes. And when the engine temperature reaches a certain level or the coolant reaches a certain level, it essentially will it'll open or close and allow coolant into an overflow tank. Um, I think for, for expansion, something like that. I don't remember exactly how it works, but that's how that works. But I'm going to need to fix it. The other possibility is, well, I think I definitely have an air pocket in it because I, I don't because it shouldn't be boiling like that. It shouldn't have any room to boil, if that even makes any sense. But the other possibility, can I hit this guy? Um, I have dual fans on my car, and they're two-speed fans. There's a low and a high. Boy, we're a little bit low here. And um, they may not be, because I have them manually wired, they may not be on high speed, uh, which is why the car is running hotter. It, so I think it's probably a combination. This is how I figure things out with my car, complaining about it to you guys. So I think I've just worked something out. I think it's a combination of an air bubble or an air pocket, and I don't think the fans are actually... Uh, on high speed because I manually wired them. They used to be wired to uh, a relay, which is that's the default. They're wired to a relay, and I think that controls the voltage to give me low and high speed. And I wired it directly. When I manually wired the fans, I bypassed the relay, so I have man I can I have a switch. I can flip them on and off. And I thought if I wired it straight to my 12 volt battery because they're 12 volt fans. You can do that with a, just a 12 volt motor. You can wire it directly. Um, I just figured it would be on high all the time, but I don't think that's what's happening. So that, that's probably why the car is running a little bit hotter. So one of these evenings when it's cool, I'll take care of the, I'll try to take care of the air, the air pocket first. And I may just wire it back to the relay is probably what I need to do safest bet you guys are like boy we sure don't care man are we going to abandon this fucking quest how many yetis have I killed and we have five of the furs dude dude <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter I really should get over it but I just I just love complaining about low drop rates I suppose Nah, it's a fact. It's I, I love complaining about it. Moaning and bitching and griping. It's it's expressing my dislike in a whiny way. That's all it is. Da, da. I wish food buffs would were 30 minutes. I do. What are they in retail? Aren't they a lot longer? Aren't they? They're at least 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Dun, 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 dun. Come up on this hill. It's my favorite place to kill yetis. It's up here. You're going to love it. Let's make them attack a little bit slower. Ice Blast. Wrecked. Oh, we got like two in a row, I think. I guess I just need to complain more. It's probably what it is. <laughs> just need to do more complaining. 
Like, I need to complain harder. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, Endless Rage. We generate 25% more rage. That's that's going to be nice. I feel like it's going to be nice. I don't know if it actually is. How can it not be, right? Low health charging and death wish, bro. mountains put his little sword up and block that paw swipe or whatever it was I don't know how long we're gonna hang out here and uh winter spring Da, da, da. I think after you get like level 56, I feel like you can go anywhere. Uh, Eastern Plague Lands. I think Eastern Plague Lands is pretty much end game, isn't it? I don't know. We might head up there. You know, off camera, I'll get on that side of the continent, t get on the bird, fly us up there at Chill Wind Point. There are, there's just a lot of quests that we can do here, though. A whole lot. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Come on! Uh... Got a mana pot. That'll come in handy. Super handy. Hella handy. No Yeti fur for you, loser. I heard you need Yeti furs. Well, you ain't getting any. There's a quest to pick up these feathers, these blue, I think they're wildkin feathers. I don't know when or how you get it, but I think it's a thing. For fuck's sake, man. Ah. <sighs> Pretty good XP for this quest, though. Are we rested? We should be. Yeah. I think we've got... That looks like a full bar of rested XP there. It's actually been... It's been over a week since I've been on Mountain. Or Finn, really. They always seem to get that off 
the very last, right before they die. <laughs> so I'm glad we got this quail and cheese on us because, uh, well, I mean, we could use bandages. Too bad they don't drop. They're humanoids, but um, usually humanoids would drop some kind of cloth, but uh, they're not into carrying cloth. Not at all. I'm going to come off this path because I think there's a pat. Quite certain there's a pat. Yeti fur. Bastard. You bastard, ya. You bastard, ya. Are you the Pat? It's like, I'm not Pat. I'm Ice Thistle Yeti. And it's Patrick. It's not Pat. Overpower is kind of shit. I don't know. It's nah. It's not. I mean, we can sometimes get a crit on it. We have done big damage with overpower. Yeah. Sounds pretty pathetic, Mountain. I gotta say, brother. God damn it. I would have been doing on time. It's still over half an hour. Get your melee attack power reduced. Of course he got it off. Literally right as I clicked it. Freeze me. Freeze me. Oh. Wow, man. <laughs> Straight up stupid. I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have a drop rate any other way. Aside from straight up stupid. I feel like it's one out of ten kills, man. <laughs> it's probably not that bad. I don't know. Maybe it's worse. All right, one more. So just like ten more kills. That's a 56 matriarch. That's interesting. I think all the other ones are like 57. I wonder if they have a higher chance to drop in what we need. I doubt it. I don't know. Maybe they do. All right, I read a book. Um, you guys are like, what? Yeah, that's right. I read. I read a book. It was called Off Season by Jack Ketchum, I think. It's something I... It, I was looking at videos or something. This was months ago, and I just... You know how YouTube is? You get... You, you just you get a random recommendation, and you watch it, and you end up going down this weird... Like, watching this weird shit completely unrelated to what you were watching before. Anyway, it was this, this woman, and she had, like, a bunch of great books that she recommended, like... It seemed really genuine. Like she read, I was like 20 books or something. Oh, we got the fur. Anyway, it was one of um it was one of those recommendations, so I ordered it. 
And um, I read it in like three nights. It had an endorsement from Stephen King. It doesn't really mean anything to me, man. But um, I got to say, I, I don't know. I didn't think it was that good. I, I mean, it was okay, but it just was a little bit over the top with violence and gore. And the character stories were, I don't know. I just didn't really care too much. But it was one of those things where I just kind of, I kept reading to finish it. But uh, I'm not sure why I'm telling you or what my point is. I probably, I guess I don't have a point. But um, I don't know. I don't know what the, why she would recommend it so highly. I guess if you must, I guess if you're into that, right? If you're into over the top blood and gore, and it was an interesting story, I will say that it was definitely an interesting story, or not an interesting story, like an interesting premise. Hey, how you doing? I just thought it was a little bit ridiculous. With I felt like I was watching a cheesy horror movie, right? Just like a stupid slasher movie or something. These first are perfect, Mountain. We're off to a great start here. Thank you. Now that I have what I need to cover the mechanical moving parts, I only need one thing. Well, actually, two. Two horns. The Ice Thickle Patriarchs. Why couldn't you tell me this at the same time, Rumplesnicker? Like, couldn't I have got the things at the same effing time? All right. So we got to kill the Patriarchs and the Matriarchs for the horns. Okay. Southeast of here in the cave. We need two pristine Yeti horns. Regular Yeti horns will not cut it. All right. Let's find a repair person. Got a repair person in this joint. And here, probably. Hello? What's up? What's up, Wizrax? All kinds of backspace. What do you got, brother? You got anything cool? What does this look like? Eh. That's a Shimitar pirate sword if I've ever seen one. What does this mace look like? Eh. Eh. Ah, nice. Not a bad looking sword. Kind of a cool axe. I think this is pretty standard. Look at that. I like that hammer. I do like the hammer. The Ultra. All right. I'll keep it real, brother. You keep it real. Keep it real, my goblin freak friend. All right. Let's roll back in. Still standing here. Lock tight. That's what it is. That's what it is. All righty. All righty. Well, so I don't know. Next episode, we might, we might check out some Plague Lands, Western Plague Lands action. I don't know. I'm not sure we might still be here. Who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Mr. Mountain and myself will catch you in a future episode. Farewell. Farewell. Take care and peace. Peace.